Hello everyone, I am Eat This. Soak the beef in soy sauce for 1 or 2 days. This is the most delicious way to cook beef. Many people have not seen this method before. Every year during New Year's, my family makes several kilograms of this. It tastes better than cured meat or cured beef. Using it to entertain guests during New Year's is very impressive. Making it once can last from New Year's to Lantern Festival. Whenever guests come, we just cut a small piece like this. The guests all rush to eat it. It really smells so good. Next, follow my video. And see exactly how it's done. Today, I spent 180 yuan at the market to buy 3 jean, 1.5 kilograms, of beef shank. How much is beef per jean where you are? We add 1 spoonful of salt to the beef. Then we add 1 spoonful of flour. When choosing beef, it's best to choose this type of mirror-like meat. The meat from this part is of better quality and has a very good texture. Because today's beef recipe doesn't require blanching, we use salt and flour to rub and wash it thoroughly. Since salt can kill bacteria and flour has a strong absorbing ability, it can effectively remove bacteria from the surface of the beef and impurities. It can also absorb the blood from inside the beef. Rub and mix it for a bit longer. Rub it until the surface becomes glossy. That's about enough. Then pour in an appropriate amount of water to cover the beef. Next, rinse the beef. Rinse off all the flour on the surface. The benefit of adding flour is that when you wash off the flour, the dirt on the surface also gets washed away with it, along with the flour. After washing it clean, drain the water and take it out. Pour clean water again and wash it one more time. After washing it this way, the beef becomes very clean. And a lot of blood has also been washed out. Drain the water again and place it into a bowl. Add a small spoonful of salt. Then add an appropriate amount of water to cover the beef. Mix it with your hands to dissolve the salt. Then let it soak for about an hour. Next, prepare a few star anise. Two small pieces of cinnamon. One piece of angelica root to remove the odor. Add two black cardamom pods. A small handful of Sichuan peppercorns. And a bit of fennel seeds. A few bay leaves. Finally, prepare a few dried chilies. Then put them all into the pot. Turn on medium-low heat and stir-fry. Stir-fry to release the aroma of the spices. The heat shouldn't be too high. Otherwise, the surface will burn. After frying the aroma, pour in 500 g of light soy sauce. Then add 100 g of dark soy sauce. 
Add 50 g of rock sugar. Turn on high heat and bring to a boil. Cook until the rock sugar melts. After boiling, cook for another 5 minutes. To fully extract the flavor of the spices. After 5 minutes, turn off the heat. Set aside to cool naturally. Next, prepare a piece of ginger. Slice it into thin pieces. After slicing, place it in a bowl for later use. Then prepare a spring onion. Slice it diagonally into horse hoof-shaped pieces. After slicing, place it with the ginger for later use. Prepare a small bunch of cilantro. Cut it into small sections. After cutting, place it on a plate for later use. Now the beef has soaked long enough. The soaking water has turned pink. Now drain the beef and take it out. Place it on a cutting board. Prepare a kitchen paper towel. Cover the beef with it. Gently press with your hand. Using the kitchen paper towel. Absorb all the moisture on the surface of the beef. This can effectively prevent bacterial growth on the beef. Wipe off the moisture from all sides of the beef. Make sure to carefully wipe the cut surfaces as well. Thoroughly absorb all moisture from the surface of the beef. Then set it aside for later use. Next, prepare a small bowl. Pour in half a bowl of high-proof white liquor. Then place the beef in the small bowl. Apply some high-proof white liquor. Make sure to rub the liquor into every crevice of the beef. Massage it for a while. Adding high-proof white liquor not only removes the gamey smell and enhances flavor, but also has a sterilizing and disinfecting effect. It also helps preserve the beef for longer. Apply white liquor to all parts of the beef. Then place the beef in a large bowl. Pour in the marinade we prepared earlier and let cool. To make delicious beef, marinate it thoroughly. Then add the chopped cilantro and the sliced spring onion. Marinate in advance to ensure the beef is evenly salted both inside and outside with consistent flavor. This is how you get premium taste. Now, add 2 tablespoons of sweet bean paste. And add 1 tablespoon of soybean paste. Continue mixing evenly by hand. The key to braised beef lies in the sauce. No need to add a single grain of salt here. It's all about the soy sauce. The sweet bean paste and soybean paste balance the saltiness. This method makes the braised beef rich in sauce flavor. I've used this recipe many times for braised beef. The taste is amazing. Then seal it with plastic wrap. And refrigerate it overnight. This is the beef marinated overnight. Let's open it and take a look. 
The beef is now fully marinated. The color is also very beautiful. Next, take the marinated beef and directly pour it into the pot. Pour all the marinade into the pot as well. Then add spring water until it covers the beef. Stir it with a spatula. Turn on high heat to bring it to a boil. After boiling, flip the beef to the other side. So that the beef is fully submerged in the broth. And heats evenly. Then cover the pot with a lid. Lower the heat and simmer for one and a half hours. Midway, we will open the lid and flip the beef with a spatula to ensure the beef heats evenly. This way the beef won't fall apart while cooking. Cover and continue simmering on low heat. We open the lid again midway to check. Wow, it smells amazing! At this point, we need to flip it two more times to ensure even heating. Now the time is about right. When we open the lid, the whole room is filled with a rich aroma. The color is also much deeper now. It looks very appetizing. Finally, cook until a chopstick can easily pierce through. Then it's done. Now turn off the heat. Cover the pot and let it sit for another half hour. The resting time is over. Now the beef's color is even deeper. Then take a pair of chopsticks and remove the beef from the pot. Place it on a large plate. Look at this color. Isn't it appetizing? It's a deep, saucy red. Just looking at it makes you want to dig in. Then place the beef into a storage bag and refrigerate it for an hour. This will make the beef texture firmer. After two hours, take the beef out. The beef, after being marinated in advance, has an even distribution of saltiness and flavor throughout. Let's cut a piece for everyone to see. Wow, the texture inside is beautiful. Then slice the beef into slightly thicker slices. If you like eating big chunks of beef, you can also just grab a gnaw on it. The more you chew, the more flavorful it gets. When we were slicing it, we could already smell the strong aroma. I couldn't help but drool from the corners of my mouth. Dear friends, you've watched the video up to this point. Making videos is not easy. If you feel that my video has been helpful to you, please extend your lucky hand and give me a like. Each of your comments and shares is my motivation to move forward and your greatest support to me. Thank you here in advance. 
and wishing you a happy Lantern Festival in advance. After slicing everything, place it on a plate and you're ready to eat. This kind of braised beef tastes especially great with cold salad. This delicious braised beef dish is now ready. This method of making braised beef brings out a strong soy sauce aroma. The texture is firm and it's really flavorful. Tender and melts in your mouth. Full of taste. With no off-putting smell at all. It's perfect for serving with alcohol or as a meal during the new year. Friends who like it, make sure to save this recipe and try it out. If you like my videos, follow me. I will share a different food video every day. See you in the next video. Thank you for your support.